Hi, everyone. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, I'm Malin, and I'm here with uh, Adam, Zach, and Kai. Um, for those who hey haven't you. heard the show before, this is usually a podcast about tech and things closely related to tech and coffee. <laughs> or or, or uh, medium close related yeah, to tech. Yeah, sort of what, what, what we feel for doing. And sometimes we have a tendency of playing a lot of different games. Uh, so this time we're going to play... A, we're gonna do something that's a bit less uh, that's related to tech, uh, but more in terms of the sort of game thing. So we have four different type of games prepared for this uh, live show. Um, and, and just yeah. a disclaimer: we have no idea how this will go. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is more of an experiment, and everyone ca- can kind of participate in it. So that will be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So this is our first live show, so um, we're super excited about it. But yeah, we will. We, hopefully, it all goes well. If anyone wanna just chat with us during the recording, um, you can just uh, continue sending us messages through the AUC channels. Um, and we're also gonna ask you guys to participate a bit in uh, everyone at the at the event, kind of maybe to participate and vote for some of our questions. So which is also experimental. So we'll also see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so let's kick it off. Um, I actually have one item of follow up. Oh, uh, really? Yes. <laughs> the already, uh, I, w- I was feeling so prepared. From the so episode prepared. we released about two hours ago. Yeah. Uh, the episode from yep. two hours ago. All right. Um, mm-hmm. uh, when I did my listen through, I realized that I actually got something wrong. We talked about Apple's new uh, subscription offer codes. And I said that it would be 150,000 offer codes that uh, developers now have available per year. Turns out that's actually per quarter. So you actually get 600,000 offer codes. I don't know who wants to give that many copies of the apps away for free, but if you wish to just blast it out to everyone, 600,000 people, you can do that now, which is, I mean, it's cool. It gives you definitely a lot of wiggle room uh, to to kind of send coupon codes out in, in different ways of however you want. It's Black Friday coming up uh, in a few days, so maybe you want to send those codes out then. But yes, <laughs> So what do you a- say? 600,000 Black Friday codes? That, <laughs> that's what we're settling for here? Yes. Marlon didn't agree to that. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, but 150,000 per quarter, which I think is, is pretty generous um, and should probably serve almost any kind of amount of offer codes you might want to send out. So that's cool. Mm. You could almost use it as an alternative distribution method, uh, which I know. <laughs> Don't that, say that. I, 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 you I know that they have um, <laughs> discouraged that in the past with the promo code system, but this is uh, definitely a step in that direction. And All it's right. fine. Apple seemed to be on board with it. <laughs> I, I don't think that's what that means, but sure. That, that shouldn't um, be your takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it with follow-up, I think. So we're going to kick it off. Uh, like I said, we have four rounds. Uh, I think, Kai, you're starting with some questions for us. And like I mentioned, all the folks in the AUC live chat are welcome to participate. And mm. Yeah. So in the theme of keeping everyone on their toes, we kind of talked before this recording a little bit of what all of us are going to do for this kind of special episode. And I kind of settled on something I'm going to do. And then I decided, you know what, I'm doing something completely different. So that's fun. Uh, I mean, uh, everyone but me is not aware of that. So I'll I'll kind of run through what we're actually going to do. So I... um, have a more of a variance of different tasks and questions. That okay, I, I love that your round just needs all those disclaimers up front. Uh, uh, yeah. Huh? Would you expect anything else? Yeah, um, no. So I kind of have like a bit of a different selection of different types of tasks because I couldn't decide <laughs> and indecisiveness, the best way of dealing with that is just doing all the things, right? So um, the first round will be a kind of, I give the three of you a task and you have to complete it and uh, send a screenshot of the completed task in the uh, in the channel. So fairly simple. I tell you what to do, you, you try to do it, and then we're awarding points uh, based on that. Then there will be some true or false type of questions, uh, some multiple choice, some bonus rounds, oh, a whole bunch of fun. Man, this sounds like a lot I know, of fun. They're... I'm excited. <laughs> some <laughs> of those questions took way longer to prepare than I, uh, I, I want to admit. Anyways, let's get started with the first task. So um, the first one is pretty simple. We all know Apple has uh, a store, an online store, a mm-hmm. whole bunch of things in that you can do on the store, like spending a lot of money. Um, so I want all of you, you have 30 seconds uh, from when I say go, and <laughs> two, go to apple.com. We're, for all of those things, we're using the US store just to have a baseline. Can we, can we so go now? Because I think Adam is starting you can, you can start going to the store, but you don't really know what to do yet. But okay. feel free to, to go. Do we have to do it on our, on our phones or our computers? You can do it on whatever can... device. There's You, you decide uh, which device you think is the most capable of completing the task. I don't, I'm not discriminating against any devices. All right. 
So wow. cool. but, I apologize right. in advance for the keyboard clicks. <laughs> but the challenge is to put a single item into your basket that comes to the largest possible total. So uh, it cannot be a whole bunch of items. It just has to be one item. You can add as many add-ons and RAM and whatever you want to it. And whoever adds the highest post screenshot of the highest total single item uh, basket item uh, is getting the most points. Okay, so anything, like, what do you say, what, like, add-on, what does that mean? If Apple is, like, in the end, recommending add a pro XDR screen to your computer, yep. is as that long as an add-on? Part of, as long as it turns into one kind of item, that will count. All right, then aren't we all going for the same thing? Is that maybe? How does Let's that work? see. Do you have twenty-eight okay. seconds left? What? <laughs> I, okay. I have a feeling that there, there's a trick to this, where there's going to be something that we aren't thinking of that's clearly even more expensive than the obvious thing. But if we're maybe. all thinking the same thing, uh, but I'm going have, for the obvious thing. <laughs> How do we confirm so, <laughs> this? In the end? You you post a screenshot. Uh, you have, uh, by the way, sixteen seconds God left. Damn it, sixteen! Oh, yeah, you, I don't so think you, anyone will make this. I, I, I are we, are we posting in the AUC Discord thingy? Um, yes, whatever. Okay. You have. Oh, this is well, I'm going to post a screenshot of what I've got now. Seven, six, five, <laughs> no. four, no, wait. three, two, one. It's not even. Time. It's there. I have. Ah, ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, I can only drag it into this well, chat. For, All right. I literally, uh, this is not enough time. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, come on, uh, Kai. Can we I'll, just can we just post? I've, I've done nothing but click on things since you <laughs> said this, uh, and it's just the screen is like upgrading. It's like, do you want Apple Care? It's like, fine. Uh, I just I can't click on stuff fast sounds enough. Sounds like someone is stalling. But I, I no matter what, I feel like uh, Zach already won this round because he's the only one that posted a screenshot. I can't. Can, okay. 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 But I'm I still want to see what 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 you composed in in the baskets because there might be bonus points if you <laughs> manage to get a screenshot up at all um so zach's a choice was a very good choice it was a rack mounted mac pro um for thirty six thousand eight hundred ninety nine. i assume that <laughs> how much ram does that machine have i couldn't go all the way there was um that is 768 for oh the 1.5 terabyte requires a 24 or 28 core cpu i mustn't have select no i did select a 28 i don't know the store's store's broken um, but it was 768. All right, cool. Um, for the other two, you, you took very long time. <laughs> um, Adam got to, uh, 54,000. Well, I, I, sorry, I'm uploading. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. There's <laughs> mine. Okay. So, uh, uh this was really <laughs> straight hard. Straight to the screen. I'll just like to that. recap. So Zach was the only one that actually got it out in time. Okay, but he did get the lowest one. Was sure, but I mean, yeah, at but least I he was... followed the rules. <laughs> <laughs> my um, actual total is sixty six thousand. If you add all the things that I added to my cart. Yeah. So, so the total. Uh, so just to recap. So Zach won because he was the only one that did anything. Thank you. In time. Sure. Uh, Adam is the second sure. place because got he got the, rules, the most expensive and was not last. And Marlin got uh, something in between, but it's not the most expensive. So uh, for this round, Zach gets three points. Adam gets one. And Marlin gets zero. Sorry, Marlin. That's fine. I got to um, appreciate uh, Paris's comment in the chat that should just go for the uh, MacBook Air. It's basically the same specs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. That's, Round number two. That's, that, um, that was I will, fun. I will adjust a little yeah. bit. Um, Remove Man, cart. 30 you guys, seconds is so 30 much. 30 seconds is so we little. know is not long enough. No. Yeah. He, I, wow. I will adjust. How did the Australian beat you guys? Come on. I know, right? Our internet's terrible. <laughs> I guess you just have been going through this process, this this purchase process, so often. Just How wanting dare to max you accuse up. me of that? <laughs> All well, right, so you, the I next don't round, do that every morning. <laughs> for the next round, you can utilize some of the experience you just gained, and uh -oh. now the challenge is getting the cheapest item on on Apple's website. Oh, it has I know to be what at this least. Is. Can we start? It has to be at least uh, one cent, um, and you have one minute and ten seconds this time. Just, because that's where my watch landed, and clearly 30 seconds. Oh boy, Paris just posted a uh, back total of 205,000 Australian dollars. Jeez, nice. What did I see? Oh, I also I, I I liked one part I liked about this challenge is forcing everyone to put hundreds of thousands know, of felt, dollars of Apple it gear. It felt uncomfortable. Next time we're doing this, I will put an affiliate link into the chat before we start <laughs> this exercise. <laughs> 
Just in case someone accidentally hits that Apple Pay button. Mm -hmm. I wonder whose Apple Card or Apple Pay uh, process would actually allow a purchase of that. I'm, I'm sure mine wouldn't. Okay. Um, just for the record, you now have 30 seconds left, which last time... Uh, if I post one like early because I'm like I yeah, want to be safe, it. can I continue with the game afterwards? No. Okay. Your post is your you you commit that. Okay. All right, Zach is keeping the theme of speed. My answer is up. Yep. I don't even understand how you guys can add stuff to your bag fast enough. It's... <laughs> All right, you have ten, nine, oh, eight, I'm in the wrong shot. seven. Ah. All right, six, I know I didn't win, five, but I had to four, post four, three. Two, one, time. Upload, upload, ah! <laughs> we're, we're on the gigabit line here, Molly. You cannot I missed say the upload, upload, upload. Okay. All right. You're sharing so, it. You only got half of that each, Kai. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I like it. Zach seems to really nail this Ooh, game. So, Zach. Oh, see, wow. I didn't know you could play Unlike this. the Mac Pro, I know because I actually have this item sitting unopened on my desk. So I, I bought these last week. Do you um, need those? Yeah. Why do you need those? Don't, don't doesn't it come uh, My AirPods it? tips um, broke. <laughs> they just like popped off. And yeah. the magnetic part, which kind of clipped all the clippy part, was there. But the rest of the AirPod tip was kind of like half snapped off. Um, so for the low, low price of, I think, 12 Australian dollars with free shipping, got myself some replacements. Mm, nice. So recap. Yes. Zach was first. So again, uh, full points for Zach. Three. Um, for a, the AirPod Pro ear tips, a set of two, uh, for seven ninety nine. Uh, second place, Adam nineteen ninety nine um, for Beats ah. audio cable, um, and Marlon unfortunately last, <sighs> but slightly cheaper than Adam yes. uh, for nineteen dollars ah, for USB C to smart. USB adapter. Yeah. yeah, I like James's pick here as well in the chat. Yeah, mm. uh, headphone jack adapter. That's a good idea. Mm. But I do like your thinking, Adam. I assume you thought that Beats products are cheaper than Apple products. No, actually, I just I, I kept scrolling and I noticed there was a bunch of stuff that was 19 or 19.99, and finally I was running out of time. I'm like, <laughs> all right, I just got to grab the one that's on the screen at currently. So all there right. was no strategy. <laughs> I all wonder right. if uh, the education store would have offered uh, discounted prices I, on any I of these. I was yeah. leaving that open I, as I was an about opportunity too, like... for someone to gain some extra points. There was actually one extra point allocated towards using the non-traditional Apple store, using ed either education or some of the university stores. But no one did that in in the, in the one minute and ten I seconds. I don't think those kind to. of things are discounted on those stores anyway. No, probably not. Considering you get like ten dollars off an iPad, I don't think they're going to shave anything off at seven dollars. You, you can Apple's get ten uh, three percent daily cash, <laughs> whatever no. that means. Yeah, for your I think only Adam's eligible for that here. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. So let's in in the with the uh, seeing that we're already blowing through a lot more time <laughs> than I allocated for the segment. To the next segment. The next okay. segment is okay. called App Store Guidelines. It's a very creative name. Um, I will tell you um, four App Store Guidelines. Um, and one of them is uh, one that I made up, and three of them are Apple legitimate App Store guidelines. And you will have to tell me which one is uh, correct and which one is not. As soon as I say any of the guidelines, you can immediately claim any of them. So if I'm talking, uh, if while I read the first one, Marlon could, in theory, jump in and say, this is the fake one, which means she claims that. In this round, obviously, only one person can win. Uh, and only one person will be awarded three points. I also don't know if we're actually going with three points per, per game. I just make make up random yeah, points, but we'll figure points. it out. Okay, cool. Um, everything clear? I read stuff and you say what which one's fake. The yeah, we'll figure cool. it out. Cool. So yeah, yeah. the first Wait. guideline, uh, guideline 2.4.2. Design your app to use power efficiently and be used in a way that does not risk damage to the device. Next one. Uh, apps for iPadOS should provide rich and intuitive experiences and should should not merely be blown up iPhone apps. Two point four point. Hmm? No. Two point four point five. Apps should run uh, on the different shipping OS and may not use uh, deprecated or optionally installed technologies uh, like Java or Rosetta. Uh, apps yeah, I'm going to say that one. All See, right. I I'm going to say the previous one. <laughs> I don't think that will be a specification. <laughs> I think it's correct, but I don't think it's in the app. All right. Computer. So Zach picked the Rosetta one and Marlon mm -hmm. picked the iP iPad one. Uh, guideline 4.1. Uh, come up with your own ideas. We know you have them, so make yours come to life. Adam, which one do you pick? 
Can I ask a clarifying question? <laughs> sure, you have all the time in the world now because everyone else is, already is the, is, is the the part that you're reading is? It, are you saying that that's the guideline in its entirety, or nope, are that, you? It's is, an could excerpt. it be an excerpt from the? It number? is an excerpt. All right, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll say the first one. No one picked the first one, right? No. no. All right. So, um, Wait, we're picking which one is correct or which one's incorrect. No, which one's fake. One yeah, which one's fake, fake yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So, the yeah. fake one was apps for iPadOS should provide rich intuitive experiences and should Ooh. not merely be blown up iPhones. Yay! So, Marlon get three points for this one. Yes. Um, I actually I, read the good. fourth one myself uh, like a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah. That is a copycat one. I did like the one that explicitly mentions Rosetta as deprecated technology now when we're actually having Rosetta again. Uh, so that's why I picked that one. I thought I would trip someone up. So I'm quite happy that that worked. Uh, and the one with the risk damage to the device is an interesting one that I thought was a bit obscure. Uh, there are a whole bunch of I do wonder ones. why actually, they needed to add that one. <laughs> I think they don't want people to be like, hey, put your iPhone on top of a train to measure its speed, and then they're they're killing a whole bunch of people or something. <laughs> Anyways, cool. Three points for Marlin, zero points for the other I'm two. on the board, yay. Are you keeping track of those scores, Kai? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Marlin, three points. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Next one. Now we're getting into quick rounds. This is multiple choice. Fairly simple. I thought I'd give you four options for each of those because you're three people who play it. A apart from one round, which actually has five options, you'll figure it out. Um, same rules apply. You can claim as soon as I start speaking. Uh, there's no, no kind of restriction on when you can claim it. As soon as you want to claim an answer, you can claim the answer immediately, which locks it and no one else can pick it. Cool. With that said, let's start with the first one. Um, for this again, sorry, I, will... I have a clarification. Sure. When we want to lock it, should we? What should we say? Uh, they have letters, so A, B, C, and D. Okay. Mm. Mm. So you can just say A, B, C, or D, or whatever letter is assigned, um, or you can say the actual answer. So if if okay, I was just not sure. I, I, I just didn't know if I need to say Marlin and then I wait till the end, like I claim that. No, 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 okay. no. You have no. to say which one. But you can either say the answer or the letter. We'll, we'll so know you... it's you, Marlin. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's get started. Again, um, baseline for this are US prices. Everything that's price related is US prices, just so we have a baseline. And no, Ooh, uh, I try to reduce In confusion. Theory. <laughs> yeah, so Adam has a slight advantage, and uh, we'll see. Anyway, first one: the what is the price, or what was the price of the original iPhone? A three ninety nine dollars. B six ninety nine. C four ninety nine. D five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Five ninety nine. All right. At five. Zach got that correct. C four ninety nine. Mm hmm. Good job. dollars US. And there, there's a bit of an interesting thing, right? Because in the US, um, you could actually not... You, you kind of bought it from AT&T, but you could also just then not activate your plan. So that's actually uh, how, how a few of my friends got their first iPhone. They they bought it in an AT&T shop and said they will activate it at home and then never activated it. Um, Did you still have to pay a monthly plan for that, though? Uh, so wasn't no. It subsidized. No, no, the activation is when you pick your plan. So you could, it was uh, not, the, not the first one. Yeah, it was yeah, technically right. subsidized. Yep. But you could just take it home gotcha. and never activate it. Uh, and bad. then the uh, the uh, jailbreak came out, or the boot room exploit, I think, to actually unlock it not too long after the the release. Um, Good to know. All right, then the next question is: As we all know, the iPhone has been around for quite some time now. And Apple has released quite a lot of iPhone models in the meanwhile. So the next question is, how many total iPhone models were there? And I'm excluding all the kind of very specific ones. So I'm excluding the uh, specific model in China that actually had dual SIM. I'm excluding like the special Verizon iPhone that came out at some point. I'm excluding the differentiation between the 12 in 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 Europe and Australia and US, which has the... But like uh, uniquely named models, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, cool. Um, so... The options are A, 12 iPhones, B, 20 iPhones, C, 28 iPhones, or D, 35 iPhones. Uh, 20. B. All right, Marlon claimed 20. I thought that's I'm going to have to go. I thought you said it at the same time. I'm not sure. Well, look, I know it's 20, <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just lose. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. Where. Right. I think I'll pick like 35 I... just in case you're counting ones that I, you know, future ones. Okay. It's definitely not 12. Okay. I think Zach and I should share points if we both, if this was correct. Because okay. We at the same time. Blame the latency. Okay, cool. <laughs> so Adam picked D, 35. Molly and Zach picked B, 20. And unfortunately, both of you are wrong. It is 28 iPhones. Um, if you want me, I can quickly run through them. No, we're all good. <laughs> so much so for an Apple fan. You're, you're, you're counting. All right, all right. I, I actually. Oh well. Okay. Are you counting gig model, like the no, different sizes? No, uh, just, just a bit. But I did count uh, plus and non-plus models. Yeah, I counted yeah. the SE and the Those second are... SE. I counted the mm-hmm. five, C. I counted the ten S and ten X Max. I counted the ten R. Um, the and then the twelve is twelve, twelve Pro and twelve Mini. So, so yeah. I counted like all of those. And I guess we got four this year and three, well, actually four the last few years uh, if you include the SEs. So yeah, makes sense. I yeah. protest. So Tim Raphael in the chat was right. Yes. So you should get points. Nice. <laughs> yeah, more than you losers. <laughs> not Congrats, Tim. Separate models. <laughs> All right. So with that knowledge, let's go into the next one, which is um, now when we all know that there are 20... Oops, I just realized I missed one. Uh, 29, but close enough. You were all wrong. <laughs> Paris said 29 in the chat. Yeah, Paris is right. Uh, I, I missed and Paris the is on a roll today. Yeah, I missed the 12 Pro Max. Oh, well. Um, all right, anyway, now with the knowledge of that there are 20 the iPhones. You didn't miss much. <laughs> what is... We missed the biggest phone yet. <laughs> what is the total... Uh, price of all iPhones combined. Whoa. And that is, again, taking US prices and the base model as, as the the, uh, the price. And when the iPhone came out first subsidized and then a few months later, also as in without a carrier, I used the price without a carrier. I right. give you... While I paste the, the uh, options in the chat, I will... Give you a few seconds to think. And now we'll start. Prices for all iPhones combined. A, 10,554. B, 32,163. C, 27,571. Uh, D, 15,718. C. C. D. <laughs> Again. D. I was going to say D. All right. That latency. It was Adam. at 15,000, right? It was D. Yeah. Which one did you pick, Marlon? Uh, D. Okay. So, Adam and Zach uh, got those points. C, 21,571. Cool. Cool. Uh, actually... And we have received word from Mars that Paris is looking very smug, as he should be. Uh, yeah, he yeah. should be. <laughs> right. mm. um, and then there's actually one kind of phone that sticks out that is uh, a, to my knowledge, the most expensive unmodified uh, iPhone ever sold. Um, unmodified as in not kind of gold plated or whatever and that was the gizmodo iphone that was uh that someone lost in a bar and then someone oh, found yeah. was this and, one included mm. in there and then no i didn't no. count it okay. <laughs> and then someone sold it to gizmodo and gizmodo got into a lot of trouble with apple and mm-hmm. steve jobs was uh, notoriously uh not not liking this entire scenario and gizmodo was never invited to any apple events again um do any of you remember uh, how much that phone was sold for? I don't. I'm hoping this will jog my memory when you uh, say the options. Should we just uh, say something or are you giving us options? No, I will give you options. Okay. So, guess motor iPhone. To my knowledge, the most expensive unmodified iPhone. Um, the options are um, $5,000, $10,000, um, $1,000, $15,000. Uh, C. C. No, so the D, yeah. Okay, Molly picked C. I didn't pick the D. Zach picked D. <laughs> what did you say, Adam? I'm a. surprised no one picked 5, B. I'm a close second. All right, and B. this one was actually sold for five thousand dollars. Oh, so Adam, three nice. points for you. See, I thought that's it would actually be really... not a lot to run a no. story on an unreleased iPhone. I'm, I'm yeah. amazed. I mean, I, I think there were I think years could have of got... punishment for any kind of Apple coverage. <laughs> to yeah, be fair, I, 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 I did not know the answer. I took a total guess. The person who I still get my points. Sold, I definitely think the person who sold this could have gotten more out of that deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
Look, if you'd said fifty as one of the fifty thousand as one mm, of the options, uh, yeah. I probably would have said that. <laughs> I would have. I was actually thinking it would be more than all of them combined because that would make sense from a meta perspective. I think that's the type of question Kai would have prepared. <laughs> yeah, but forget also- the legal action that precedes this. Um, yeah, you take the value of running that story minus any legal action, and um, it's probably worth about fifty. But also nowadays, if you, Apple would say, you know, then your iPhone is five thousand, we'd be like, oh, yeah, that seems in, seems in line. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. So that was five thousand dollars for the Gizmodo Motor iPhone. That cost a lot of headache nice. and and right. <laughs> so multiple. Most people... I mean, how much would people pay nowadays for an angry? I mean, nowadays probably more, but mm. for an angry call from Steve Jobs personally the saying, "Give me my I'm, phone back." <laughs> I'm not sure if this would happen in today. I think this was a very Steve thing to do. Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Call. Can yeah. you imagine Tim Cook calling <laughs> and yeah, threatening you? Steve, you then like... he had to get up and say everyone gets a bumper case a few months later. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, forget so just, about that phone. Uh, taking tally, most people who guessed were uh, right as well. Uh, mm. People in the chat guessed A as well. So there we go. Cool. All right. So that concludes my kind of random assortment of questions because I couldn't make up my mind. Um, mm. And it took a bit longer than I planned. So let's continue quickly. Marlin, are you doing the next segment? Um, yes. Cool. I'm going to do the next segment. <laughs> um, I mean, it's mostly you you three doing the segment. So let me just pick up my notes. Um, so that I'm, uh, There's a lot of details for this. <laughs> um, so I expect nothing less. <laughs> Um, so, the game I prepared is called uh, Apple TV Junior Executives. In this game, <laughs> you three uh, are junior executives at the Apple TV company. It's a company in itself. Um, you have figured out that the CEO of the company wants to have a new TV show. So, so you figure that you, you, you are going to pitch this idea. Um, but you have you haven't really figured out what the CEO wants. But you've seen some notes laying around, like you found some whiteboards where people left some notes from meetings. So you're sort of trying to figure out what this is all gonna be. Um, so you are sort of set with. So you're challenge. trying to pitch this. So we are trying to pitch the CEO's dream TV show that we know they know. But we don't know exactly what they have. No, they add. they have some ideas of what they want, but they <laughs> okay. don't they don't really know yet. So you get you three have to figure like have to come up with the best approach. But you're not really talking to the CEO. You know that the CEO is looking for this, and you know sort of what this person is after. And you have some notes that you're then gonna sort of prepare use for preparing your pitch. <laughs> okay. So the notes that you have been gathering is that uh, the TV show is gonna be set in a country in Europe. Um, It's going to be set in the year 2031 or later. Um, There's going to be at least least two highly skilled main characters that have a secret. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) And the show should include, you know, right now, sci-fi and supernatural stuff are very popular on Apple TV. So it should include at least one sci-fi or or, or a supernatural phenomena. It can be things like time traveling, things like um, ghosts, I guess, like what, whatever. Uh, you, Doesn't you the year already make it sci-fi? Uh, yeah. um, and there are two more things. It has to include. <laughs> two more. Okay. <laughs> it has to include an animal. Okay. At and least one animal. Part, exactly. Uh, at least one animal. I'll leave you guys. Oh, one to, plus. To yeah. One okay. Plus. Okay. Um, and you know that the key component in this show. Um, has something to do with an object that is referred to as the anvil. <laughs> the genre wow. is undecided. That's up to you. And I'm going to let you... I'm going to give you 30 seconds to come up with this. I'm happy that Tony explained the anvil, because otherwise this would be even more arbitrary than it already is. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to prepare this. Um, I'm also going to post these in the chat. No, so I didn't have to write them down as you spoke. I keep you. Yeah, I mean, what what year? At, uh, I'm posting them. 2031. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or later. Or later. <sighs> this is hard. <clears throat> you have 30 seconds. So. Do those two characters have a secret together? Uh-uh. Or do they have a secret from each other? Ed, the whiteboard did not specify. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, so I posted them. Uh, so it's the year th- 2031 or later. Um, to at least two characters, at least an animal. And don't forget about the anvil. 
Now, did you already have a random order in which we have to present our pitches? Uh, of course I prepared that. <laughs> um, let me just check my notes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Um, there is something called, there, there's a website we usually use for that, Tourney Draft, no, Tourney Draft. Just generation. give us a number and then do it in random. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <clears> figure <throat> it out. How many people? Here we go. I mean, we only have one pitch. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't need it. Okay, um, I'm gonna just determine it by randomness by looking at, uh, at my screen here. So, um... Do you? Do all of you feel ready, or should I actually give pick you Adam? Pick Adam. He looks. I'm gonna pick relaxed. Adam. I am gonna pick Adam, but I'm just <laughs> checking. Do you feel like you need ten <sighs> more seconds, or are you good to go? I think I have all the elements covered. All right, cool. So Adam, you start. Oh, uh, oh and I forgot to say, everyone gets um, no more than three minutes for their pitches. Oh wow. <laughs> Let me How long? Just, huh? How long? Uh, three minutes. Oh wow, that's way longer than no, I think yeah, I need. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, and for the audience and for everyone listening in uh, live, um, I want you, uh, everyone, to vote for this, and uh, oh, the vote oh. is sort of open to everyone um, to to decide. Um, I'm gonna also prepare uh, once once all the pitches are through. I'm gonna put a message through the channel, and then uh, everyone can vote. So, Adam, do you want to start? Okay. All right. So, you know, here's my idea for the new Apple TV show. Okay. So the year is 2031. Okay. And Tim Cook's nephew, whose name is also Tim Cook, through a paperwork mishap, he accidentally gets becomes the acting CEO of Apple Computer, his 15-year-old teenage nephew. He decides with all his new power, he's going to move corporate's Apple uh, company to Europe, and he's going to bring <laughs> his pet dog to help him run Apple. And this guy, it turns out, you know, there's a bit of a culture mismatch, you know, it's the teenager versus the, uh, the you know, the older people, but turns out he... Uh, He's actually very good at uh, at finance, just like just like Tim Cook, and he actually you know turns Apple into a much more successful company. Um, the main uh, source of the success is a new uh, TikTok competitor called Anvil, or <laughs> the Anvil, depending on uh, you know the teenagers call it the Anvil, but the adults call it Anvil. And um, you know most of the show is going to just you know be about the culture mishmash, but then at the end of season one, there's going to be a twist, and the twist is going to turn out that Tim Cook's nephew is actually a clone of Tim Cook himself, <laughs> that Tim Cook had uh, created a secret cloning program earlier, and that's why he's also so good at finance. So it's got <laughs> stuff for the kids, it's got the TikToks, you know, uh, it can be lots of, uh, you know, humor involved, a little bit funny, a little bit sci-fi, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, people, Americans in Europe not knowing what to do or what to say. So uh, what do you think? <laughs> green light um do you have a name for the show Ooh, no. we didn't know that no no all right no i was just 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 noting that down that you don't have a name yet <laughs> no 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 we'll have the focus groups work on work on the name okay okay no that's yeah sense. i'm right on that. all right yeah, I, yeah. we'll get we'll get I the like... Yeah. Oh, no, never I, mind. I, I was gonna i was gonna keep pitching but it sounds like i've already sold you i should just stop talking <laughs> Uh, if you if you have more things, you're welcome to continue. But otherwise, I'm gonna move on to the to the next uh, junior executive, Kai. Okay. Um, let me just post the uh, the the poll on Discord quickly. Sure. Toop. And let add the corresponding emojis so people can vote. I feel like Adam is was both fairly and unfairly. Oop. I, because Adam got to start. So Wait, are that you already means starting to vote? I, I have to put down my votes, right? Like one of each in order for people okay, to uh, then be yeah, able to yeah. select. This is how this works. Okay. This is our sophisticated yeah, um, yeah. pitch uh, vote collection. I think the US elections should run this way, by the way. I think this is a really <laughs> clear system. You get the results immediately. You don't have to wait for weeks. Uh, and, and no one can claim this rigged. You can see who voted. Wait, it's, I think Discord should become an election system. People already started voting. We should oh, let okay. everyone... I, I, already I, I don't know we what got the name for my show also. Okay. I like, uh, Tony Gray suggested Cooked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nailed it. That's good. Okay. <laughs> that is actually All right. Let me, let me try. That's part of my pitch now. All right. I should have used Adam's time to, to prepare mine, but I didn't. So All right. Let's, let's see how this well, goes. I also don't know why, why, we, <laughs> why, why we're doing this. This is usually a very relaxed and non, not a lot of pressure attack show. And instead, we're doing this kind of weird wow. pitching TV shows uh, live. But uh, It's important. You need to impress the CEO. Here we go. All right. All right. So the year is 2031. Um, and as we all know, at the moment, Apple is using Ireland as a tax haven, right? Ireland, very, very favorable for corporate taxes for tech companies uh, to a point where Apple even, uh, where the country of Ireland tries to uh, protect Apple's uh, taxes in the country. And um, five years from, from this year, uh, there was actually a lawsuit that gave tech companies ultimate power over Ireland. Um, okay. So that obviously meant that all tech companies migrated to Ireland. And Ireland is now the only country that still produces uh, tech. Um, and uh, because of that, the, the country of Ireland was actually renamed to the Anvil because it now has so much <laughs> power and so much possession over the world and so much weight. Um, and um, obviously, as you can imagine, right, uh, that much power kind of being concentrated in this one place that only ha allows tech workers in caused a lot of conflict in the world. And, and multiple states try to infiltrate uh, the country to kind of see what's going on there and trying to break that up. So um, the... Uh, um, a, a Canadian Australian um, corporation between their secret agency uh, actually sent two of their highest skilled agents um, to Ireland or to the Anvil, as we we call it now, to to try to figure out what's going on there. Because obviously the country is very shut now; it doesn't doesn't uh, show what's going on. You always just see new tech falling out of it, completely tax free. Um, so the the Canadian Australian secret agents uh, kind of infiltrate. They go through like this kind of super secret computer science program, which, by the way, is now illegal everywhere but in the Anvil. Computer science programs are illegal. Computer science programs are completely illegal because okay. only the Anvil is now a place where where computer science or any kind of tech development is happening. So this kind of, those kind of agents they were they were schooled in the in the new language of the Anvil, which is uh, if you've ever been to San Francisco like that, but uh, uh, kind of amplified um, and um, damn it I forgot about the animal and the supernatural uh, when and then in 2031 when they finally entered the anvil um, they they joined one of the most uh, renowned tech companies uh, in there it's called the unicorn um, and they they realized that the unicorn is actually uh, branching out into um, supernatural powers they use technology <laughs> to enhance uh um the the power of humanity with mm -hmm. uh ar oh man i'm really losing it here <laughs> um it's it's an ar device that not only gives you super eyesight but also super super power and it makes you hover <laughs> Ooh. You have fifth. You have eight <laughs> seconds left. You still don't have an animal. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, turn. Start off so. Good. All right, that's your time. Um. And there was a dog. <laughs> Holy fuck! All right. Um, good tonight. I appreciate all the backstory. Uh, that, that was good. Uh, I like that. I'm I like already tied with Zach, and Zach didn't even start yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really? Oh, oh. Interesting. All right. Don't worry, I'm terrible at this kind of stuff. See, I really, I, I like the idea of the show, Kai. I think it's, uh, it's really touching on the sort of tech. It's a bit like the Silicon Valley show or like um, Mythic Quest. Like, I think, I think that's quite good in this space. Uh, I do like the company name, the Unicorn. Is that the name of the show as well? Of course. Yes. Okay. Good. It's either good. the Unicorn or the An Anvil. Okay, did you... What about... Okay, no, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Oh, well, actually, I mean, I'm not going to give you... I, I'm not going to help you out, but is a unicorn an animal? Yes. Yes. Okay. I say yes. So I guess I was a bit judging a bit too 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 early. You did sort of include an animal. Mm. I don't know. It's up to people who listen if they think this is a long well, It's the rules all intentional, so yeah, keep that in sure. mind when voting. All right. Um... Now, with that done, um, now it's up to Zach. What's your pitch? Okay. Whew. My pitch. All right, let's get started. So, uh, the year is 2035. I'm a little bit more in the future than everyone else here. <laughs> um, and it, let me set the scene for a second. Uh, we've got a we've got a 
a, a almost a lair type thing. It looks a lot like Apple Park sitting on top of an island in France. And uh, inside of that lair is a perfectly white room where a master craftsman named Johnny, Jonathan, Sir Jonathan Ive, has uh, has spent the last 15 years crafting the perfect anvil. He's been meticulously going over the finer details of this thing. And he thinks it's perfect. He thinks it's finished. He spent 15 years. Surely, surely this is great, right? There's one problem. He hasn't actually been able to see the anvil that he is crafting because a perfectly white anvil in a perfectly white room, a bit difficult to see. So he needs to venture out for the first time in 15 years. The only human contact he's had in that time is with his delivery driver, delivers groceries. <laughs> Once a month, he gets his shipment to this island. Is this the second now- main skilled character? <laughs> 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So that he's seen one human and he's seen a few birds. The um his his house we got the, animal. The, the windows are perfectly clear. So there's there's you know the birds they think they could fly through it. it it's a it's a sad ending for them. Um so he's kind of been very limited in his social interactions. He's excited to see people, he's excited to see his animal, he's excited to show the world. Um but he knows nothing about COVID. And so <laughs> What he, he what he doesn't know is that there's only five people left in all of Europe. I was trying <laughs> One to of them stay being away his from delivery COVID-related topics in here. All right. <laughs> so Marlin picked two, 2031 to be really clear yeah. of COVID and Zach's bringing it right back. <laughs> um, so that's the show. that We're, we're leaving on that edge. Um, what happens? Who knows? It's a mystery. Johnny has to navigate his way through the world. Uh, okay. The show's title, Johnny's Wanvil. It's a, a white anvil. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's my pitch. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, uh, so medium under science fiction and on medium under second character. With See, I skills. don't really know. Was there a science fiction? When there's five people in? left in the world, I'm going to say del- delivering food is high skilled. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair. What about the sci-fi element here or the supernatural? Element? It's not really. I'm, I'm lacking one key area. <laughs> I think it hits the others on the head. So it's fine. What was the secret? <laughs> COVID. He didn't know. <laughs> that's right, more yeah, of a. Did, that's did. more of a. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, staying in like a state of ignorance. I mean, the delivery driver didn't society. tell him. He's leaving him alone. <laughs> 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 all right. right. Uh, I'm going that on was a limb definitely, here. I, I think, I think all, all three of you had really, really strange shows here, but Zax is definitely the weirdest one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Thank you. laughs> So. I, I go on a limb here. I think um, Adam is the only one that even has a shot at all at this position. Well, well we, we we are the one that being fired in the elevator. I think. <laughs> all right, I'm Tim gonna... Cook's watching this. Adam, be on your best behavior. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check the chat to see what people are voting for. I'll give um, you guys uh, jobs as uh, <laughs> really, you know, uh, uh, it was well, you can be my assistant junior executive. Uh, <laughs> You can work nice, uh, craft nice. services while I while I make get my show uh, made. <laughs> All right, so uh, the um, chat's good. that seems about right, Adam, because you have won the popular vote here. <laughs> Not that that doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean anything. So, Marlon, you are actually picking who's getting the points. <laughs> uh, no, but so Adam, have, uh, people voted for Adam first, then Zach's idea came second. But... Okay, uh, and then Kai's came third. <laughs> Zach, I think you had a lot of creativity in there, but you lacked some key elements. So I am a bit surprised that you came second here. Um, but you gotta give the that, people what fine. they want. That's fine. People, people apparently want to see more of Johnny Ive and the Anvil. <laughs> uh, I love that all of you. You know, when I said Apple TV show, it literally didn't need to have Apple in it, but all of you decided to include. I think that. Adam set but, the tone. I was like, yeah, country, yeah. country in Europe, Ireland. That makes sense. If I just start with the <laughs> kind of tech thing, I'm sure it turns into a great story. Didn't work out too well. I should have thought about a second one, but unless here we go. Here we are. All right. Um, Zach, what genre is your show in? <laughs> I don't really know. It could be a thriller. It's, it's it could like, be a mystery. It's like po- um, post-apocalyptic uh, yeah, yeah, drama. I guess. Sounds more like... Um, What's The Walking Dead? That public thing. television documentary or something. <laughs> 
Cool. All right, I'm just checking what people are saying, but um, there's yeah, already you already have a cover art for your show. Yeah, I Pretty saw that good. too. <laughs> Trust right. the AEC. Awesome, mm, love it. Thank you so much, everyone, for voting and for participating in this. Um, so, how I, do you actually assign points now, Molly? <laughs> um, each of you gets one point. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I I was also actually gonna vote for Adam's show first, uh, just because it felt like you you really thought it through, and you also had the least time. Uh, and I'm I'm happy that you get all of the concepts in there. Um, I do like the cloning <laughs> aspect of it. Am I uh, being a, like the fact that it's like Tim Cook being a number guy and that being his sort of superpower? I'm not sure if that will be interesting in the long term to watch. Um, you didn't you didn't say superpower. You said some. Special skill or something. I, I guess, yeah, yeah. It, it was saying supernatural. <laughs> uh, uh, no, those were two separate sentences. So I, th- that's 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 fine. But yeah, yeah. I, um, I think I would have voted for you, Adam. Uh, but then I think um, Kai's was pretty interesting as well. Um, so I think I would have voted second for you, and Zach, I would have probably given you the third place. But it doesn't matter what I think because the people. It's not what have the voted. people. It's not what the people um, think. <laughs> So based on those votes, I'm going to give Adam three points, just because that's yay. apparently the established I mean, point system we have. Yay. <laughs> uh, Kai is, um, Zach is going to get what? two points. You're actually, you're listening to the common folks? <laughs> <sighs> yes. Zach is going to get two points. And Kai, you're still going to get one point. Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, so that means, uh, Adam, you See, that's why people try one. to rig elections. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Congrats, Adam. Um, you are now a... <laughs> You're the only one I can get about four con- he- cohesive sentences out without <laughs> without pre-writing them. Pretty impressive. So that means you are now a non-Apple TV... <laughs> Apple TV non-junior executive. Senior executive? Ah. No. <laughs> non-junior. Okay, mm. cool. Awesome. With Mid-level. that, <laughs> we're going to move over to... Um, the next round, and I'm just going to check my notes. I think the next round is Zach. Zach. You have prepared a few games as well. Yes. Cool. Um, let's get stuck into it since we are um, we're using up our time fast. So my show, it's called uh, Real vs. Fake Review. And simply put, there's five rounds. Each round, uh, I pick a different app that's publicly available on the App Store, at least in Australia. Um, But you would all know the apps. You'd all be familiar with the apps. That's not really the point of this. Um, So there's three reviews per round. Two of them are real, as in taken from actual App Store customer reviews. They're not the full reviews because, funnily enough, the really good reviews that I've picked out for this are generally quite long. Uh, And so I've taken snippets of them, like a few sentences here and there. I've tried to make all the options kind of similar length, yada, yada. Um, And one of them is fake. And I've written it and added it to this list of three. And same rules as before. Um, So every contestant has to pick one. um, First in, best dressed. uh, And I'll post them as I go in the Discord channel. Are there a bonus point if we figure out what app they're for? No, I'm going to tell you the app at the start of the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll set the scene. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. So do we just scream out? Do we just do the same thing as we did with Kai's round? Yeah, I guess as I'm reading them out. I don't know whether I post them in Discord. Uh, I'll read them out and then I'll post them in Discord. Mm-hmm. How does that sound? Yes. Did you did you add or remove typos in the in the? Real- no, I have left. So the the spelling that you will see uh, pasted into Discord is exactly as it is in the App Store. Um, and and I've tried to pick a th- uh, do a theme as well. So if I've picked like for certain apps, some are just terrible, and I've tried to mimic that. And for other ones, they're all re- very well written, and I've done the same thing. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I think there's there's some good ones in here, and you'll all know the app, so that's not a concern. All right, let's get started with round one. And this is this is one of my favorite apps for App Store reviews, the Apple Store app. And the reason that it's one of my favorites is because people seem to write every wish under the sun that they have for Apple, the company, as a review for this app. Oh, good now, idea. Let me just do that right now. <laughs> I think it works. Um, and I've also included, I'll also read out the star rating because uh, at least for some of them that plays, uh, kind of plays into the review. So uh, for the Apple Store app, the first review, two stars, Apple you can make no notch on iPhone 10 would be cool like Samsung. <laughs> Review two, one star. I cannot find answers, course videos, flash player. Do I need to convert? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, 
<laughs> can't even read that with a straight face. Um, and review three was... Sorry, that was a one-star review. I don't think I mentioned that. It was one star. Mm-hmm. Uh, review three, five stars. Apple should start thinking of creating a function that helps you track the money you have saved for a certain product. And that is now in the Discord channel. It's not a bad idea. Apple, you can, no, not sure an iPhone 10 would be cool like that. So. <laughs> All right. I have, I'm going to guess A, being fake. Marlon says A. I picked two. Sorry, okay. B, one. Uh, I don't know how the first one. So Adam says three. <laughs> okay. Is that how we do it? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't really know how we can give non-points for the people who are wrong, right? Yeah, but non-points. I guess it's just... Three, three yeah. points for the winner. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Marlon is correct. That mm-hmm. is the first one is the fake review. Nice. Um, nice. Can you make no notch on iPhone 10? Would be cool like Samsung. Man, that is, that oh. is a well written fake review, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, it was almost like I was um, a machine learning model just reading these <laughs> reviews and kind of getting a sense for how people write mm. <laughs> and uh, just trying to spit these things out. It was great. It was, I, had a, I had a lot of fun last mm. night, uh, in case you can't tell. <laughs> now, with uh, the hindsight of, see, it, it, of knowing the right answer, you, the takeaway was Samsung because who would buy an iPhone to then say <laughs> Samsung is cool? Good. Uh, yeah, good point. Um, I, no, what threw me? The second well, one was so good. Yeah, that's why I, I knew that that one was not fake. <laughs> yeah, I know. I couldn't read that with a straight face. Um, Zach, so did you go yeah. and actually leave the fake review that you made up? <laughs> oh, I should have. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely should have. Um, Paris uh, just I did not. Um, oh, okay. Just uh, pasted a review that uh, Tony had for. Uh, the Swift Pocket Reference book, uh, and that was it. Seems to be a copy of Apple's documentation. Jeez, <laughs> oh, aren't humans great? Um, but it's it's it's, it's interesting, right? Because it's a bit like oh, it's kind of nice because you know, in back in those days, Apple's documentation was pretty good about the Swift language. Mm. So it, it's both <laughs> insulting and kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you got a good point. All right, so round two, we're going to move on to the eBay app. Again, an app that everyone would know. <laughs> oh, no, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> um, so the first review, five stars. It's no understand. <laughs> I can't do this. I mean, maybe he just wrote a really funny joke himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's no understatement to say this app saved my life. I started as a young hoarder. My first sale got responses in 30 minutes and most things sell in a day. Thanks to eBay, five years later, I no longer need a store <laughs> or a second apartment. Oh. And now I lead a minimalist lifestyle. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay, I gotta do that last sentence again. Thanks to eBay, five years later, I no longer need a storage box or a second apartment and now lead a minimalist lifestyle. <laughs> um... See, uh, review two. Yeah. If you came <laughs> up with that, that's seriously. great. Um, okay, review two. Five stars. Downloaded the app, which was so easy. Had a look at what other machines were going for. Took a pick. Set a starting price and a purchase price. And in about 10 minutes, had two email inquiries. Replied to both and spent half an hour later. There was and, and half an hour later, there was a ute parked in my driveway ready for pick up and go. Now I am addicted. I've spent the last two days sorting the mess in my garage. And review three, five stars. After providing top ratings, I am sick of reviewing it. I'm sick of reviewing it, so I've dropped the rating to one star. Stop asking me to rate your app. <laughs> I would say number two. Did the person actually number drop two. it? Number two, okay. Was it, still only, was it still five stars, the last one? It was, it was five stars, yeah. Okay. Didn't they say they would drop it to one star? That That is what it says, I picked yes. that one, three. <laughs> okay. okay, I picked B. I see. Or B or you mean two? I don't know how we. Adam already picked first, two. Adam said so you... two, right? Oh, okay, I picked Yeah, I said okay. two. I picked okay, one. and then so uh, Marlon picks one. Uh, Marlon's actually right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Nice. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, that yeah, one yeah. was really good. Uh, well done. <laughs> I, uh, it's bad because I laughed my whole way through. <laughs> that's that's what sold it though. Is that yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I know, I know. But I was genuinely laughing. That's good. That's um, good. Okay, okay. I, can't I could do this all night, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You're entertaining there, yourself. There's some good ones in here. Um, all right. So round three. Um, so, so far, sorry, worth, Mar- Marlon's a one, two out of two. Um, so we're going into round three. The Apple developer app, the first review. 
Uh, two stars. I'm a developer and it shouldn't be that hard for Apple with all of their developer resources to make an app that works. All it needs to do is play videos so developers for Apple platforms can watch session videos from WWDC, Apple owned conference. Shouldn't be that hard for the company that takes 30% of everything we make. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one's be oh, that was two stars, by the way. Um, four stars. Generous. Hi. <laughs> yeah, right. Hi, Apple dudes. It would be great if the next version allows us to download, vid- download videos over cellular networks. Lots of people have much faster cell connections and unlimited data, so please let us use it, whether we are in the office or on the road. Um, those four stars. Review number three, five stars, great app, lets any developer be close to WWDC without attending the event. Only criticism I have, however, is developers whom worked on this app didn't think to consider time zones. If it converted the times of the sessions to the user's local time, it would be much easier and better. So that's round three. I think number one is fake. All right, so the pattern so far was that every time Zax was number one, so I doubt that would continue, but that would that would make it easier for us. <laughs> I mean, Kai's stuck with number two yep. based on what everyone said. Mm. Okay, um, Adam gets the points. Oh. The first one is fake. Again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gets on the first one oh. for the next round. <laughs> sure, sure. That um, looks really good. Bit a, a bit of a theme here. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think you went too far with the uh, shouldn't be that hard for a company that takes 30%. I, that, that seemed a little... <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, not, not that people aren't petty like that, but it seems like, so that's what tipped me off. <laughs> See, I uh, felt like the third one... Have you listened one... to this podcast? Petty on petty, uh, Adam. <laughs> uh, the third yes. one was just really good. Like, it was really well written, and I didn't feel like people yeah, put that yeah. much thought into it. So that's why I thought that was Interestingly, that one was from about eight years ago, I think. Seven or eight really? years ago. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's a very old review. Um, <clears throat> there's not that many reviews on the app, so I could I could go with an old one. What is? Um, what, all right. What, do you remember what the average rating was for the developer app? Uh, I could have a very quick look, but no, I do not fine. remember off the top of my head. Because, um, this, um, yeah, I think this is really fun. <laughs> you must um, have had lots of it's fun. It's got 4.4 4, at 45 ratings. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. No, not terrible. Hmm. Um. Okay, so the next one, there's a bit of a theme here. App Store Connect app. Um, we're all developers. We all use App Store Connect. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I have that ready to go in the Discord. So review one, the app is very well designed, but some things cannot be done. For a lot of things, you still have to use the website. Uh, that was five stars. Four stars, review two. I added one extra star because you added dark mode, but still <laughs> awful for Apple that their own apps now have even the feature parity with the web portal. I thought that by now we at least should should have feature parity, if not more like a native app on Mac. And a lot of exclamation marks. Review three, four stars. How can I use Fastlane with it? <laughs> Question. Mark. Ooh. Interesting. No. Um, uh, can you say the second one again? Uh, it's in the chat, but I oh, added sorry. one extra star because you added dark mode, but still awful for Apple that their own apps now have even the feature parity with their web portal. I thought that by now we at least should have feature parity, if not more like a native app on Mac. <sighs> this one's I hard. I go three. I'm going to say. I go two. Okay. okay so Kai's three. Oh, Marlon's two. What were you going to say? I, w- I was going to say three, but I will I will accept one. Okay. Uh, the the winner is Kai. Woo-hoo. How can I use Fastlane with it? Four stars. <laughs> it's too specific um, with Fastlane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. It also um, does not seem like something that people who would be interested in using Fastlane would write <laughs> in the App Store. Because I think they would go directly to ask the people who make Fastly. That That's a good point, actually. Yeah. But there's also um, now an app that you can use. Uh, yeah. If you want to plug Josh's new release. <clears throat> cool. Um, all right. The, the final one is the COVID safe app, if we want to call it that. Um, that's the uh, contact tracing app from the Australian government. Uh-oh. Um, has, has some great reviews. Um, so review one, five stars. I'm a skeptic when it comes to government app, but I read the privacy policy and felt reassured that I could use a fake name, only asked for my age range, postcode, and phone number. 
Review two, one star, absolutely useless. Thanks, Scott. Review three, <laughs> one star, mates helping mates. Try to remember who you in contact with instead. Okay. And I will post that in Discord. <laughs> Is it? Oh, okay, no, sorry, I can just read it. What? What's review two by someone named Quentin by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I did not keep note of the name. Um, interesting. Uh, just mm. as a background for everyone who's not aware, the COVID Save app is using their own implementation of Bluetooth to try to keep track of contacts instead of using Apple's and Google's frameworks and had, I think, a bug in it that couldn't even work in the background for the first three months or something like that. Um, yeah. if you and want, if you have an Apple Watch, the app is next to useless because it breaks your Apple Watch's connection with your iPhone. I noticed this because I was sitting at home and my watch was always on 4G. Mm. <laughs> All right, mm. it's great. For I'm more details pick... on that, uh, follow Quentin Savas on Twitter because <laughs> uh, he'll definitely keep you up to date. I'm gonna pick number two. Number two, okay. Marlon's number I pick two. One. Kai's number one, and that leaves Adam with number three. Yes, although I would have picked number two. <laughs> okay. Uh, In case you're curious, answer. <laughs> sure not. The answer is actually number three. That's the fake one. So Adam yes! gets the points. Really? <laughs> my new my new strategy. Oh, that one is yeah. so yeah. good. Though. That would have been my second choice. <laughs> Damn it, uh, mates. All right. Oh. Mates. I love the thanks Scott. Thanks Scott one. Mm. So good. <laughs> See, that felt like something you would have come up with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's short and concise and gets the message out there. It's, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One star. Try to remember got everything. who you in contact with instead. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Awesome. I think that went pretty well. I was worried that uh, it would be very easy to, uh, to pick my fakes, but I think that was okay. No, nah, that one seemed plausible. Mm. All right. It's good. That was good. good. Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Um, okay, that, that wraps it up for my round. So, um, is someone keeping track of points, or should I do that? Uh, you well, do you that. you. I mean, I can I can tell you the ones from this round, but like, where am I adding? You keep them? you keep track of your we'll points, and we'll, we'll add them up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. So, Adam. yep. So for the final the final round, uh, which I'm running. Um, this segment is called Battle of the iOS Masters. <laughs> I was going to write a little theme song, but I ran out of time. Uh, this one, I, I feel bad. This one actually might be the least uh, funny, entertaining one, but uh, I'll be entertained. So <laughs> I have uh, the, uh, Zach, uh, Kai, and Mullen are iOS masters. They have mastered all things with uh, their iPhones, and I'm going to challenge them with a series of tasks that they need to complete on their iPhones and they have to only use the stock apps that come installed with iOS 14, the, the Apple apps. And uh, the end result will be some sort of image or screenshot that they have to post into, uh, the, into the chat. So uh, you guys feel like you understand and you're ready to go? Yep. Yes. Yep. Cool, cool. This will either sure. be like, you know, uh, this will either go really, really well or it'll go really, really poorly, depending on whether the things I happen to pick are super easy or super impossible. Um, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll read it to you and then I will uh, paste, post it in the chat. And when I post it in the chat, I will... Uh, you, you you also you get extra points for getting under a certain time limit too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start a timer. Uh, f anyways, you don't care about the points. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> um, the first uh, task is uh, you know I you know me I love abstract art. So I want you to create an image oh. that contains a blue rectangle, a red triangle, and a yellow star. And I want all these shapes to have perfectly straight lines all right all right, all right. what are the shapes again <laughs> it's posted in the chat blue rectangle red triangle yellow star all right all right an image <laughs> and you should be able to do it where you're only going to get a minute or two so don't overthink it um i'm going to talk while you guys while you guys do it uh 
you know, I'm, I'm most curious what, what shade of blue you're going to use, whether you're going to use uh, iPhone 12 blue or iPhone Pro uh, Pacific blue. Uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. So was it blue rectangle, red triangle? And yellow star. Well, Jeez, this is Wait, how? Which, uh, I don't even know what app to use for this. <laughs> I'm trying notes, but yeah, me I've too. obviously made the- it. I've obviously made it way too hard. There's no uh, way those of getting of you, the, uh, in the ch- Those of you in the chat, uh, you know, uh, p- play along. Uh, I managed to do this in uh, <laughs> 30 seconds, and so I was going to give you an extra point if you finish it in under uh, f- uh, 45 seconds. But it's already been one minute, so <laughs> we're going to. We're after about one more minute, uh, you're going to uh, get zero points. So. Uh, you know, uh, c- 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 I'm waiting consider, on airdrop, consi- but almost ready. <laughs> consider just uh, posting anything. Airdrop, why are you so slow? What are you using airdrop for? To get the image to my Mac so I can post in. I don't have Discord on my iPad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, you're gonna you're gonna be at a bit, bit of a disadvantage then. Yeah, but here no, I have my got- phone. I was ready to do this all on my phone. What happened to that? <laughs> I have an iPad that I can do shapes on. Ah, okay. So yep, yep. Uh, Zach posted something which has a uh, a blue rectangle that has perfectly straight sides. A oh, red is it perfectly triangle? straight sides. <laughs> this is a by red the way. triangle that has that has semi straight sides and and no stars. And uh, Kai just posted something that uh, I don't even. That's there's something <laughs> there. By the way, also uh, the shows the, are the peak of my arts capabilities. <laughs> so sorry, how much time do we have left? Uh, you have no time <laughs> like, left. It's over. Negative twenty minutes or so. Okay, I'm not gonna make this star. You know, that's that's over my. That's out of my skills. You know. So, but, um, oh, yes. Geez, okay. You, it's, it's already, it's already I'm done, over. I'm done. You can post something later. So, um, <laughs> no, no one completed uh, the, the task uh, uh, completely. The, the secret to this was knowing that on iOS 14, even on the iPhone, it supports uh, shape recognition. If you start See, drawing a shape so, and as soon as... do it. If really? you pause your finger right at the end of the shape draw, it will convert it to a perfect rectangle um. or triangle or star or even a heart or a circle. Uh, so that was the key thing to know that that was a, a new feature that that you could use. Um, Good to know. Good to know. It looks like it looks like Zach got uh, w- one of the shapes with with perfectly straight lines. So I w- I would give Zach Wait, one two, half of a point. Two. You 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 think those that that triangle has straight lines? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the star, the star. There's a Where's star. The star? On yours? Oh, that's the a star, top left. <laughs> he used an emoji. Oh, How much oh, do I have to zoom in? What is that? <laughs> Ma- Mars zoomed in on it in the chat. It's an emoji. Oh, uh, uh, okay. That counts. I was being creative. That is pretty creative. I gotta admit, okay, that was pretty I just, creative. I, All right, that's I, great. I, I know this took a bit of time, but I'm quite proud right. of what I made. Just because I want to give someone some non fractional amount of points, I will give Zach one point. <laughs> and I will give Kai uh, no points. What? And I will give Malin uh, no points. <laughs> I, I have three shapes that deserves some amount right, of points. All right, next question. What is the next question? Let's let's <laughs> let's revive ourselves, Scott. We're gonna do better. All in right, the next <laughs> you Don't guys. The, the, the goal here is to actually accomplish the task. <laughs> okay, the next one. All right. <sighs> I like app icons. Apple's icons are the best. I want you to send oh, me a screenshot of the iOS user interface. Containing app icons for these apps: what? books, music, TV, wallet, and watch. <laughs> Exclusively, books. What was it? Books, wallet, books, music, TV, wallet, and watch. I just posted it into the chat. Uh, the screenshot can have anything else you want on it. It does, you know, but it needs to have the uh, the official Apple. Uh, app icons mm. for those one, two, three, four, five apps. 
I have the screenshot. I just have to share it. This is one that uh, I managed to do in uh, under five seconds. Uh, that could be a hint to you if you're trying to do it in a complex way. Um, I was going to give you an extra po point if you could do it. Ah, and Zach discovered the secret. Oh, yep. I, I it know took the me secret. way longer to send secret. that screenshot than it did to take it. <laughs> so Zach has a uh, a correct answer. <laughs> My Discord share extension stopped working again. <laughs> yeah, same. It uh, it failed to load all the channels. All right, <laughs> nice. That's another. That's Didn't another even wait approach. to get out of jiggle mode. All right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna give Malin a little. It's only been one minute, so didn't you, I, you say know, home I mean, screen? You, I'm pretty sure you said. I didn't home say screen. home screen. No, he's an app icons. No. Uh, see, I, I should listen to the question. That would make it a little easier. iOS UI. Okay. Actually, I think a better way to do this would have been to go to like the iOS page on Apple's website and take a photo of all the built-in apps. <laughs> <laughs> they have the icons listed. There's, anyway, there's also a. I I expected there. I'm pretty sure the app library at least used to have or sometimes had an Apple Inc. folder of all the apps by Apple. Yeah. But I couldn't I've find seen that. That, that was my first attempt. So you search for it. Molly, yeah. you have about 20 seconds left. Yeah, I can't get it to be added to Discord. Did you take the screenshot? I'll, I'll trust you. I took it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. Posting is part of the challenge. We can... I know. I know. What is it? All right. We'll give it to you. <laughs> all right what all right so uh although actually you were in third so it doesn't matter that's zero points anyways um <laughs> zach got two points uh for correct first correct answer kai got one point for the second correct answer and uh <laughs> Malin also got a correct answer james in the chat <laughs> perfect you guys this ready for so the third hard. one do i need to worry uh, about this do i even need to send this now it, it it's for honor at this point. Okay, okay. How, I, I want to be. How much honor <laughs> Sorry, do you want? Don't worry about it. <laughs> cool. All but right. I'm going to start Eric, the third that one. That design will be all the rage when Johnny I wakes up in 2035. <laughs> uh, I'm all sorry, right. Mo, and I do not, I do not see the entire icon for the wallet app. <laughs> oh, on your screen. For sure. oh, you got to remove the keyboard. See, I couldn't get it to go down. <laughs> you scroll, just scroll down. Yeah, yeah scroll. I, 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 just, I, I, just, I know, just pull thank down. You. I know, I know, but it it, uh, it wouldn't do that. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Okay, the third one. Uh, right. You know, I love I love Apple. I love Apple technology. The only thing I love more than Apple is uh, is the, is the PDF file format. So uh -oh. um, what oh, I'd like disaster. you to do is uh, go to the Apple.com home screen, and I want you to create a PDF of the Apple.home.home.com home screen. Uh, save it to the Files app, and then open the PDF in the Files app and take a screenshot. All right. He said, well, trying to find... So this one is, uh, oh, no. you know, part of, the, part of the main trick, obviously, is uh, do you know how to create PDFs uh, using uh, only stock Apple apps? I was able to do this in about 30 seconds. Uh, you have to always say that. <laughs> If you can do it, well, I'm, I'm saying because if you can do it under 40 seconds, uh, you'll get a bonus point. <laughs> you guys should put me on mute. I have to commentate. <laughs> Wait, what, what was it after we've got the PDF? What did we, we need to do? I think. Well, you can't send me the PDF directly. Uh, so you save it to the Files app and then open it in the Files app and take a screenshot. Ah, okay. That way I can confirm it's a, P it's a screenshot of a PDF and not just a screenshot right. of uh, Tim Raphael in the mm -hmm. chat has already finished it and he finished less than 30 seconds. Maybe I should give him your points. All right. So Kai posted something. Um, sure. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish this All right, one. I got it. Um, <gasps> Maybe I win. Yeah. Uh, no, I already posted it. Maybe I win over the <laughs> Yeah, All I right. won't get this one. 
my make PDF shortcut is not working. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the things I've noticed already, and uh, I'll have to decide how to score this. So um, James White, who also is participating from the chat, uh, sent what I was expecting, which was an actually a three-page PDF that covers the entire content of the <laughs> Apple.com you didn't say website. That. Uh, well, you... It's d does your PDF represent the Apple.com website, Kai? It does. Uh, it's 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 uh, only it does. The, it's Look only at one it. page Look of at it. it. It's a PDF that represents Where's the rest the of the content. Entire website. There, all the content. <laughs> Look at it. That's content. That's a website. How come content. it only says page one of one? In because the I did the kind of full page in, on one thing. It doesn't split it into different pages. It's just one very long PDF. Yeah, it's true. It's the same for me. So I think, I think two people okay, having okay. it should all be. Right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay then uh then then you got it kai got it Malin got it second zach are, are you playing for honor oh no i've i've bowed out i've bowed. Okay. i cannot do this one okay <laughs> in a timely manner yeah so no. um kai just uh right. for my own curiosity tell me uh, what method you used to to so create i used the PDF. a mark markup route yes, so if you do. Um, I went to a website, then uh, decided to share, and then you have the option to use markup, and then you can save mm -hmm. it from there as a long PDF. Mm -hmm. Okay. That yeah, is, I, did, I did the same. That is absolutely uh, one of the, the two main ways uh, that I had in mind. The second one, I, which I think is probably what uh, maybe James used, is... Uh, uh, I don't know if people know this, but uh, you can use the the print dialog in mm -hmm. iOS to create uh, PDFs. See, and I tried that route first, but then I actually got to physical print dialog where you actually <laughs> and you accident, like, you accidentally to, sent it to, to your printer, <laughs> and uh, it's See, still printing. Yeah, I did that right now. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm Kai, actually Kai printing, actually right, printing now, right now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Is that your thing of the week? Uh, the Apple website as at 25th of November? So Wait, I actually have to stop that because I think it's like 500 pages. <laughs> okay. So thus concludes uh, the, the I'll be uh, back. challenge of the iOS <laughs> masters. All right. Whatever I call it. Also, who won this round then? How, how, did, did Kai win all of them? In this round, um, Kai got three points. Uh, Zach also got three points. And Malin, you got one point. No, I didn't. Do I get bonus points for whatever this is? How did is? you not get three points, Zach? <laughs> Wait, are we, are we talking about overall? Total. Or? Total this oh, section. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yep, no, no, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, I'm not talking about this last, uh, this last yep. cool. challenge. Oh, good. Cool. All right. Good job, guys. Cool. Um, that was fun. So... Mm. Just to summarize, I think the first round, uh, your round, Kai, uh, did you write down the points who yes. won that one? Yes. Uh, let me just add them up. Are all the other points already together? I only... No. Uh, mine is uh, for mine, how many points do we want per correct answer? I was thinking two, because I don't want to go three, because no one else got points, so it pushes you really far ahead. Uh, I was thinking I, two. I don't mind being pushed far ahead. <laughs> uh, <just> <laughs> When it suits you. <laughs> I don't know. Up to you. Oh, it's three, your, it's your game. You pick. I was thinking two. All right. But we could go three. Oh, two is well, so I'm going to give you a little hint. The, the more points you give us for your game, the more disadvantaged you are. That, that's uh, a fair point. So let's <laughs> go with two. Um, yep. Awesome. Cool. All right. So um, who... Want to, do, you, do you want to round your points up, Kat? Sure, I'm doing that as we speak. All right. So in my game, uh, I'm just going to check that no one else voted afterwards, but I think it was pretty easy to determine the winner in my game. Um, <laughs> just scrolling. So for, the, for my round, uh, Zach finished with seven and a half points, Marlon with, Marlon with three, and Adam with 5.5. Based again. on my, my patented scoring system. All right. Set again. Actually, so, I think Paris won. <laughs> so, so can you say the points? Uh, did you put the points? Seven and a half for Zach, three for you, and 5.5 .5 for Adam. All right. I'm learning a lot of new ways of how to print PDFs, by the way, uh, or how to generate PDFs. Um, all right. Um, and so who won the other game? Uh, in my, uh, so um, Adam won my game. Zach came second. Kai came third mm -hmm. at one point. So what are the points for that? Um, three, two, one. 
So, Adam, you got three points. Zach got two points. Mm-hmm. Kai got one point. Okay. Awesome. Uh, is anyone adding those up, or am I? I'm. I'm. I will add them up okay. as soon as I have the the final. Awesome. Um, Adam, keeper of the rules. So, Zach. What is uh, who, so? Zach, uh, yes. Yeah. What's the score in your game? Um, Marlon four points, Adam four points, and Kai two. Oh man. Okay. Very so close. The total points, Kai. I have six po- total points. Marlon, All right, that's it for I today. Have, <laughs> I have eight total points. Uh, Zach, I have um, t- too many to 12, count. That's okay. Twelve, twelve point five. Total twelve points. to the power of five. <laughs> and uh, I have seven plus. <laughs> I also have twelve point five. <laughs> Woo. Cool. We end on a tie, really? What's our <laughs> tiebreaker? Uh, no, I think that's it. I think that's everything. I think you guys just have to share the share the honor of winning. Share the every world glory. Yeah, yeah. So congrats, you two. Mm, thank you. I'm happy for congrats you. Congrats all. Well played. Mm. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, thank you so much for, to everyone for listening to us, um, trying to get through this, those games and struggling <laughs> with it, struggling printing PDFs and then ending up printing things in real life. Um, and thank you so much to everyone for participating in our mm. votes. That was um, fun and stressful, especially the pitch yeah, part. Yeah, this was so much more stressful than I anticipated this to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, thank you so much. And we, our, we didn't yeah, even get through everyone. all of our segments. We had this very elaborate picking mm. section I have so yeah, many text just products gotta, laying around. I have like multiple VR headsets. Like, just gotta uh, keep it. The, okay, we're not doing that. I, I at least want to show <laughs> no, some of the effort that. that I put through. So uh, let's wrap appreci- things up. Let's, yeah, we're, we're, we're just waiting with that till the next till, till next year. Uh, <laughs> 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 thank you so much for everyone, and uh, Adam, thank you so much for being a special guest and joining oh, us thanks for, for this inviting show. Me. This fun. I don't really yeah. know. And, I think oh, Kai is still trying to pick his pick his. Uh, Can someone turn off Kai's video? feed uh um, all right but yeah thank you so much again adam okay <laughs> and, and thank right. you to everyone for having us this is a lot of fun yeah. and um you know a nice thing to do in lieu of not being there in person yeah, this year thank you um, and we missed the conference also thank you so fun. much to everyone uh, at AUC and uh, everyone who's uh, helped out organizing the conference uh it's awesome that you put this together even if even if you had to change to an online format it's been great so far so mm. thank you so much and for john for bearing with us getting all the setup <laughs> And for Paris on correcting us on every single of our incorrect answers. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you so, so much. So, Paris, if you want to join next year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, right. Yeah. If anyone well, want to hear more of us, just uh, check out the links. Uh, as yeah. well. um, if you want to hear us ramble uh, next week again. Uh, but yeah, thank you. And enjoy yeah, the rest of the conference. We do this every week. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. All right. See ya. Bye. Cool. Are you? Uh, are we? Are we off? Now, I, we just have to assume we're off, and now we can talk about all of our secrets. <laughs> so, Zach, when you reach your uh, one point three million dollars with Petty, and now you're actually near thirty percent here, uh, how's that feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Shh, that's for when we're off. The- <laughs> oh God! I, it'd be nice if I could make one hundred and thirty dollars, Kyle. <laughs> Uh. Jeez. Um all right. Man, I'm yeah, I'm the same. Seven gigs. I forgot okay, now to I'm stop. Gonna save this and make sure I do this right.